Hey everybody, welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and you could say that in this video, we're going to look at a pop punk song called Rose Tattoo by that rambunctious Boston area band called the Dropkick Murphys. A really fun song to play on the mandolin because, well, the melodies in this song were played on the mandolin, and it's really cool to play those little melodies all throughout the song and to play along with the energy that the band gets on the original recording. They also did another recording a bit later with Bruce Springsteen, too, so that's a good one. You might want to check that out. So I will show you all the chords and the licks in this song so you can play along with the original track by the Dropkick Murphys. But first, before we get to that tutorial, if you're new here, thanks very much for checking out this channel. We really appreciate your support. But don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button on the way out and leave us a like if you like this video. Likewise, if you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back and please leave us a like if you like this video. Also, check out our Patreon and Amazon links down below. We've got some cool things happening over on Patreon, including one-to-one -one exclusive lessons and live monthly mandolin sessions on Zoom. So please come and join us on Patreon. But now, without further ado, let's check out this song called Rose Tattoo by the Dropkick Murphys for Mandolin here on RPM. Okay, this song by the Dropkick Murphys called Rose Tattoo for Mandolin starts off with this chord progression. <laughs> Okay, so what is that? Well, those chords are A minor to C to G and back to A minor. That's the beginning part of the song, all right? So, and this is also the chord progression that are played through the verses of the song, at least the first part of the verses. The second part of the verses adds one more chord, and I will show you that in a minute. So I'm playing that A minor right here, fifth fret of the G string and second fret of the D, open A, open E, right? Your standard A minor chord. I've seen some people also play this A minor chord. Um, I find that this voicing sounds more authentic. It sounds like the original song. Um, so I, that's where I play it, but you can play either A minor voicing as you choose. The next chord after A minor is a C chord, standard C, second fret of the D string, third fret of the A, and then G string, of course everybody knows that, or G chord rather, everybody knows the G chord there, second fret of the A, third fret of the E, all right? And your strumming pattern kind of goes So what is that? Well, that's just like this. Slowly. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three. So down, 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 up and down, down, down. So right. Like that. Okay, and as I said, that was the first part of the verse. The second part of the verse adds in another chord. I'll show you. It goes A minor to C. G chord. Now you do a D minor chord and back to the A minor. So what is that D minor chord? Well, it's here, second fret of the G string and first fret of the E and everything else in the middle open. That's a D minor. All right. So that's the second part of the verses. I'll play the verses one more time. song they stay on that D minor for an extra bar and then quickly G to A minor again right so quickly jump like that they only do that a couple of times in the song however okay so that is the main verse lick now the little melody that's played uh, several times throughout the song including at the beginning goes like this played over those chords Right, so what is that? Well, that's a really cool little melody, and it starts off on the A string here. All right, so A to G to A, so that's 
open A to the fifth fret, back to the A, and then second, third, right? So up to that C note there. So one more time slowly. All right, so from the C, you're going, you're giving that couple more notes there, and then, so. And sometimes during the song, I hear them going on that C note there. Okay, so you're going like that. So after the C, you go, so you go like this. D, this fifth fret here, and then open E, so, right? And a couple of notes there on the E, and then come back down. Fifth, third, fifth, right? So, so, and then you jump down to that second fret there, and like that. So one more time, very slowly. So, so that's fifth, third, fifth, open, and then fifth, and then jump down to the two, three, two, open. One more time. And that's the main lick that's played several times throughout the song. I guess you could call it the song's main theme. Okay, there's another part in the song. Then it goes, some may mean from showing up, some may mean here. Okay, so what's that? Well, that's a C and the G chord. And the D minor, D, G, A minor, like that. Okay, so some might be from showing up. Like that okay so D minor G to A minor okay the next part goes some B from growing up some may be from showing up some may be from messing up so that time it's C chord G chord D minor to A minor, then C, G, D minor, and stay on the D minor for an extra bar, D, G, A minor again. And then over that part, there's a little melody that's played like this. Okay, something like that. It's not exactly the same as what he plays on the original recording, but then I've seen the mandolinist in this band playing it different ways on some live versions that I've watched, so you can play it uh, any way you want, but this is kind of uh, pretty close to the original version, I think, so it's here. So again, you're taking that C note, which is the third fret of your A string there. Third, fifth, open, again, with the open E, so third, so... And then you come back down again from the E to that second fret again. So open E, fifth, third, second. And then you go on that second note there, which is this note here. It's a B note. So, so again, that lick goes right like that. So that's the first part of it. Then it jumps up to this note here, which is an F note. Right, that's a pretty cool little lick. So, so first fret here on the E string and then open. And jump all the way up to that A note, which is the fifth fret here on the E string. So, so right, and then the next time again. And they're staying on that 
D minor chord like that. So I threw that in earlier. You could do that as well. You could just go quickly one open, five, three, open. So like that. All right, so one more time through that little C lick, it goes. And that's kind of your secondary melody played over that C chord section. All right, and then of course you get to the uh, chorus of the song in a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo. What are those chords? Well, that's an A minor in a rose tattoo. So the first part of the chorus is an A minor, then a C chord. Now you go to a D minor chord. And quickly to that G again, in a rose tattoo. that you can throw that G chord in if you want or you can just go from the D minor back to the A minor so in a rose tattoo in a rose tattoo got your name in a rose tattoo right then you go to C in a rose tattoo in a rose tattoo got your name okay so the second part of the chorus is now C rose tattoo to G rose tattoo D minor Back to A minor. So one more time the chorus in a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo. You got your name written here in a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo. You got your name written here in a rose. In a... And again, you pause for one extra bar, always on that D minor back to A minor. Okay, and finally, the only other part you really have to worry about is a little bridge part in the well, close to the end of the song, I guess you can call it a middle eight or something, and it ju jumps down to F. I really love it. It's kind of a... All right, so what are those chords? Well, that's F, C, to G, to A minor. back into that part once again. So one more time, that's F, C, G, A minor. F, C, G. They stay on the G for a few more beats and then back to A minor. All right, that is Rose Tattoo by the Dropkick Murphy. Some really cool little mandolin melodies and mandolin parts in there and some really driving chords. The first part of the song, they actually play it fairly straightforward uh, without a drum track. And then when the drums and bass come in, they really pick it up and strum it a little more, right? So you want to listen for that as well. Listen for the differences in the strumming patterns throughout the song. I always recommend that people play along with the original tracks or some live tracks on YouTube to really get the songs down. You can play those licks and the chords along with the band and you can figure out the rhythms and how the rhythms change throughout the track. Anyway, thanks very much for tuning into this video and checking out our channel once again. We really appreciate it. If you are new here, please leave us a like and maybe hit that little red subscriber button on your way out. Likewise, if you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much. Give us a like if you like this video and check out our Patreon and Amazon links down below. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks very much for watching RPM.